Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are going to continue on the second video of the Black Duck series with carving a neck. The foam that you see I'm using, uh, as you can see in my other videos, they're called a backer rod. Um, and I buy them from local construction um, sites and stores. So it's basically being used in construction. I think is used for pushing them into gaps for insulation and whatnot. I don't know exactly what they use them, but I know what I use them for. So anyway, I always buy the bigger one so I can carve the neck down to the shape and form that I like. So here we're carving out the neck of the black duck and uh, I am going to make it a lot longer than what I need because I can always make it shorter. And if you notice, one end is going to be thinner than the other end and if you guess it right the thicker end is going to be where it's going to attach to the body so for having a smoother transition from body size coming into the neck uh, I use um, that trick to basically make it easier for myself so I usually cut the foam in square shape and uh, I basically grind it off to make it somewhat round not fully round somewhat round with my Dremel tool and the, and the head that I have on the Dremel tool is a it's a bunch of sandpapers um, I think if you if you buy your Dremel tool kit it comes with it it's a whole pile of sandpaper attached together in the shape of a round that's what I have found is the friendliest and most forgiving head for carving these foams and just make sure you take your time and uh, don't rush through it or uh, don't pause too long because that Dremel is gonna eat right through uh, the neck and uh, you gotta you know you, you, it's a waste so you gotta cut up another piece so slowly round off all the edges all the four edges to make them somewhat round but still has its own ne uh, true neck shape which is kind of um, I would say square with rounded corners that's what it usually looks like or at least that's what as how I like to make them to carve them like Now we install it back into the foam body, make the angle cut so it comes right exactly where I want it, up to the shape that I want. One of these days guys I'm going to show you how to carve your own body. Because uh, when I carve my bodies I do a lot of them at the same time. So if you're not sure for the length of the neck you can always do this measure the whole length of the bird and then compare it to your own bird your body and the neck of course you got to make sure that your body is in the proper size but because we cut the neck slot a little bit back into the body so this trick will um, basically help you exactly cut it into the same size and depending on what head have you purchased, uh, the attachment of uh, the neck, basically the foam neck to the head is going to be a little bit different. Um, so what I like to do, I like to still carve down the edges of the area that is going to attach to the skull and uh, make it a little bit smoother. And once I know exactly what I'm going to do, I'll leave it aside and uh, we'll do it after. Because if you remember, 
we push the neck right through the opening of the beak on the skin but this neck has a thicker end so we have to do a different trick to install it in the in the bird but we're gonna get the head fully ready before we go into that step so and how I like to install or attach these heads into like to my to my um, necks is that I make two holes one hole is going right through underneath the skull through the top of the skull or head and then the second hole would go only through half the way and I carve out the top so the thickness of the wire basically gets sunk in countersink it now we're installing the eyes without attaching the head into this uh, into the skull uh, into the neck so I usually fill up the eye area or uh, eye cavity with with uh, clay and then with the measurements that you have made from from the carcass or from the real skull one measurement is from either the front or the back of the eye to the front of the beak you mark that and then you install your eyes exactly based on that measurement I'm pushing them into the clay right now to my best of ability to to keep them both at the same length from the tip of the beak it might change while you're pressing them into the clay doesn't matter you can always adjust them as long as you have those numbers okay and then another measurement is how much eyes are out comparing to the skull and that measurements you need to take it after you inject the real eyes with insulin syringe not to over blow them up with water just enough to make to give them the real look and then you measure how far out from each other the eyes are and once you're once you're uh, in that measurement range that you have then you start creating a little bit of a eye muscle and eyelid muscles around or at least claying up the eyes to make them look like um, like a real duck or a living duck before we install it into the skin okay guys we are coming to an end for this video as well so stick around tomorrow hopefully I'll uh, I'll get some time and upload the third part of this duck series and it would be installing all of these heads and necks and other wires and and wiring the whole body okay thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow bye bye